started my own business because I was tired of working for someone else when I felt that I was doing so much of the job and I could really do it as well or better. So I really thought to myself, I can do this. It was a confidence booster in a lot of ways. I think that the challenge for, for entrepreneurs, both men and women, the challenges are very similar. I like to say that somehow men roll out of bed in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I think I'll start a business today. I think I'll be a stockbroker today. Women tend to, to take a lot longer. They tend to over-prepare. But I think particularly for a wedding planning business, there are some skills that, that we might say are women's skills. So it may take a bit more preparation for men, men getting into the field, but it, right now particularly, it's wide open. Running your own business is really a heady experience. Uh, you have control of your own destiny. If you can choose your clients, you're not at the mercy of either a boss or a client that doesn't, that's not a match to your own skills and your own personality. You really are in a position where you could make the amount of money that, that you want. So it's a huge opportunity as long as you're willing to take the risk. Before either a man or a woman goes into a wedding planning business, which is a great example, you need to take stock of yourself and figure out who you are and what you want out of life and what your priorities are. You really have to look at your own skills, the services that you want to provide, and think about, is there a market for that? How many people out there are doing the same thing that I want to do? Can I do it better? If you can think it through, build in some measurement, then you'll get on the road and you'll be okay. Because the two of you have different skills and experience that together would substantially uh, enhance the business. And I have to say that one of the best things about owning a small business is when you score, you score big. And in some senses, it is like a marriage. You start out with the best of intentions and, and you, you feel like you know where you're going, but as, as the business grows, as you have successes and failures, your paths start going like this and then you find that, that you're just too far apart. But it gets back to having control of your own destiny. In small businesses, I think that gender can be particularly important. And maybe that's one reason, if you're starting a business, you would want to take a partner, um, and it, particularly if you're a man wanting to go into what we might call a traditionally female business, you might want to find a woman partner so that between you, you bring all of the assets. One of my favorite books um, talks about language, for example, that men and women use. As we always say, we, we socialize men to value achievements, we socialize women to value relationships. There are three trends now that wedding planners or anyone wanting to start a wedding planning business should be aware of. One of the key qualities for a wedding planner is to be able to keep abreast of what's going on and in fact get ahead of the curve, be prepared and take the lead. Sometimes the good news with, the, with a couple like this is that in fact they are so busy that as long as they can trust you and have confidence in your, your competence, your experience, your expertise, they will leave you alone to plan the wedding and execute it. Grooms are in fact more involved in weddings than they used to be. It's no longer all about the bride. So that too uh, argues for the presence of a, of a male wedding planner. In fact, I think is a good market niche for a man wanting to get into this business because grooms count. But I think in all three of these cases, it involves a sensitivity and experience, a professionalism, regardless of whether you're a woman wedding planner or a man wedding planner. Before you do the plan, you've got to look at the market. 
to me, strategy is who are we going to go after and why. This is not a case where if you build it, they will come. And my view is, if this is a business, you need to get it to make money. Do you need an office? Can you work out of your house? This month, I've got this amount going out. I've got this amount coming in. It's like running a household, but also, frankly, it gives you a huge amount of self-confidence that, that you can really do this. I don't know that I can think of any other business that is as personal as a wedding planning business. And any time that you're not sure of what you're supposed to be doing, I'm just going to be right behind. So if you look at me and I'll, you know, go like this to stand up straight or I'll hit my hips to lower your flowers and we'll all be fine. Okay.